Hello guys, welcome back to Bear's Corner. It's Emily here, and today I'm going to be doing a little- Why is the lighting doing this? I kind of want to know. We're just going to keep the lighting like this. So, recently I've been in a massive reading slump, and I think that's just because I've been really stressed out with school, and also a lot of stuff in my personal life, I guess? Um, but I've been doing a lot better than I was before, which is really great. Um, but I want to force myself to read. I've already finished my Goodreads goal, um, which is good. And I am in the middle of reading Because of the Sun. I don't know how I'm liking it. I'm barely, like, into it. But I've been reading this for two months now, and I just, I, I don't know. So I have a TBR jar, which usually I pick out one book a month that I mandatory, like, have to read. Because I'm not really good with sticking to TBRs, because I'm a really big mood reader. But at least this way, I know that I'm going to get at least one thing off of my my shelf that is new um but i really want to force myself to read so i'm going to be hosting my own like little readathon not for you guys like i'm not going to do a video on it but like for myself for like in that week i have to read all five of these books um and also this one so i'm going to be picking five over here and yes let's get started so i don't know if i'm going to be I want this one. I don't know what it is. Okay, um, I don't know what I'm gonna be titling this video, like December TBR or like a readathon. Like I don't know, but um, I'm really scared because I don't want it to be a big book because I have not read in so long. Um, Warcross. What? What's Warcross? <gasps> Warcross by Marie Lu. Oh my gosh, I have not read this. Everybody loves this book. They don't really like the second book, but everybody loves this book. I bought this on my birthday, like two years ago two years yeah two years ago i bought this on my birthday and i just have never read it ever and everybody loves it um i actually heard of this book before i was on booktube by my friend leanne who's super into books and her mom owns a library and love her to death um she told me about this and she was in love with it when she read it so <sighs> i don't know like it's so daunting reading a book uh okay a girl who loves books is afraid of books. Okay, let's continue. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so afraid. I just, I feel like I'm just putting so much pressure on myself to read. Um, The Uglies. The Uglies, oh my gosh. The Uglies. Okay, I think I got this on Thrift Books. Um, It's pretty small. It's also kind of big. I feel like if it was like taller, then it'd be like a shorter book. It's not that big. It's around 430 pages. Um, I've actually always wanted to read this because I've been so intrigued and I'm honestly getting myself excited by doing this right now. Um, <laughs> I've always wanted to read this because it was so intriguing, like, the, the, like, little synopsis of, like, plastic surgery and this girl that doesn't want to. It's just, I think it's really cool, especially at the age that they are. I believe that they're about 16 when you have to, like, undergo plastic surgery. Is that the word, undergo? We're gonna pretend like it is. And so I'm like really excited for this book. I'm scared. Okay, no, I can do this guys. I can do this. Like you need, to, I'm, follow me on Twitter to actually see if I'm going to do these. I want this one, I don't know. Okay, I'm so scared. Caraval, oh. Okay, so the thing with Caraval is that, um, not that it's a bad book. I've never read it. Um. Clearly, because all these books are things I haven't read. But I wanted to read this book so bad. But for some reason, whenever I want to read it, I always get, like, a slump. And I feel like this is going to be the book that I either don't read or, like, I save till last. And I don't know why. And the other books I'm, like, pretty intrigued about. This one, I'm like, mm. Not because, I don't know. I don't know. I've heard gr amazing things about it. And I'm sure it's going to be great. I just... Next book! <laughs> Hey guys, just wanted to pop in while I was editing this video. Um, the reason I keep repeating that I'm scared and all of this stuff is that I have not read a book in like o over two months. Um, and when I have, it's been barely anything. And I didn't want to make a promise to you or myself and kind of disappoint myself again. Because whenever I make these type of promises to myself and I don't like complete it, it makes me feel worse about myself. Um, but it's going well right now, and you will get a reading vlog for that soon. So that's why I keep, like, s saying that, even though it's kind of annoying. But, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That one was pretty quick. Um, the program. Oh my god, I pulled this, um, for one of my TBRs. 
recently and of course I went into a slump so I never got to read it but I was really excited about this book so I'm gonna go get it. The Program by Suzanne Young. Oh my god. Okay, so I this is a series I believe. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. Um, this is a series I believe. Yes, The Treatment and the Remedy. I think it's a trilogy. Um, but I've heard such great things about this. Um, one of my personal friends from my own life, she doesn't ever read. And I saw this on her shelf and I was like, oh, you've read the program. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, you know, it's a series. And she's like, no, I don't want to read it. I like the way it ended. So I guess she liked the cliffhanger at the end. She really loved this book. And I think if a non-reader can love this book, I can as well. Um, I've been super excited about it, especially since it deals with the topic of depression and anxiety, which is a big pop of <laughs> statement that's happening recently and i think it's really cool so one more book that i have to pick out okay 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 okay. i'm so excited i'm, I'm excited but i'm also like nervous what if i get like the book thief which i know i'm not gonna read okay i'm really scared for this but i shouldn't be it's just a book what is going on with the lighting okay twilight oh i've already read twilight i forgot a few i was about to say if you want to see that i have a whole video on it but i haven't finished editing it because slump like i'm in a life slump so i'm gonna pick another book glad i took that out though because now i won't read it i should actually add new moon i would say i'm gonna read new moon but i don't think i'm gonna read new moon in a week um never world wake oof okay never world wake was a book that i was super excited about when i bought it and i am still excited about it i think it's gonna be really good um I don't know. I'm actually pretty excited about it. My, the, the book that I'm least excited about right now is Caraval, but um, I don't know. This is about a day, I believe, that like just repeats over and over and over again. I think somebody killed somebody. They're trying to find out who it was. This takes years. This takes place years after. I don't remember. I don't fully remember because I bought this a while ago, but um, I heard some mixed reviews about this. So let me see what I think about it. So yeah, those are the books that I'm going to be trying to read during the readathon. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to vlog it, and if you guys are going through reading stuff, I hope you guys get out of it and force yourself to read. Um, if that's also, but if forcing yourself is not reading, just take a break, and that really will help. Thanks so, so much. Please subscribe. Please comment down below. Please leave a like on this video. Um, yeah. Bye. Ew, why did I do peace signs? <laughs>